Hi everyone, welcome to episode three of Become a Citizen Developer. And today we would be talking about word automation. So as for this particular episode, we would practically be implementing two of very common use cases using word automation, which would help us in getting a flavor of all major activities that is covered under word automation. So let's get started. So the first activity that we would be doing is to prepare a resume of a candidate by fetching the details from resume data that is an Excel file. So here we would be getting a glimpse of an X, a bit of Excel automation as well as word automation. And this particular practice, like creating the resume or uploading it somewhere or you know, putting pushing the data to a certain CRM in a certain format could be a part of HR activity usually. But a similar set of tasks can even be performed by a lot many other teams or a lot many other departments wherein you are fetching the data from somewhere or preparing the data in a certain format to upload it somewhere or to send it via mail. So that is one of the very common use cases. So in this particular Excel file, we have the details of the candidate, we have profile description, we have experience one, experience one detail, experience two, experience two detail, and uh, education details, all these details we have in this Excel file. Then we also have a resume template, which is a word file. So if you open this word file, you'll see the phone email already present, which is having a dummy phone and dummy email, but we would be updating it or we can update it with the correct email and the correct phone number of the candidate. Similarly, we would be updating the experience in education details. Last but not the least, we can also update the profile picture. So let's see how do we achieve this using Studio X. So let's open our Studio X. We would be creating a new blank task or so we'll click on blank task and let's navigate to the path where we are having all these template file so that it is easy for us to navigate. So I'm gonna navigate to the location where we have the template file and I click on create. I forgot to change the name of the solution, but we can change it later from project settings as well. So the project is loading. Once the project has been loaded, we can still change the project name. We'll go on project, we'll go on project settings, and from here we can change in the name. So we'll name this particular process as create resume. I can even change in the description, but as of now, I'll leave it as it is and I'll click on OK. So now that we know that we are going to do word automation, we see here in the activities pane, all other options, app, web, common. And from this, I'm going to select word because I'm going to do word automation. So I'll have to use a word file. So I'm going to drag a use word file. So which word file I'm going to use. So I'll browse and I'll select the word file that I'll be using, which is resume template. So I would be selecting it. Create if not exist is not what I want to achieve. I would want the template to be present there. So if the template is not present there, I am, I don't want to create it. If I don't do it, this is going to throw error. And that is what I want. If the template is not existing, I would mark it as an exception. Okay, so the next is that we have to use that particular Excel file that actually has the details for the candidates, which is this particular Excel file has the details, resume data. So from here in, I have to fetch data and place it to the Word file, which means I'll also have to use an Excel. So one way is, that I add in the Excel here in the resources pane. So I can add Excel like here, connect to a new Excel file. And like I have notebook here, I can also have that resume data here. The other thing what I can do is that I can use an Excel file also. So I'll browse to the Excel file and I'll browse to this resume data file. Okay. Creative not exist is not what I want. Okay. And I'm going to drag this use word file inside the Excel file because the data that I'm going to fetch from this Excel file 
has to be used into this word file so th that is i'm going to keep it okay it's not a template file so i'll select unselect the template file checkbox now comes the word file the first thing that i want to do is i'll have to change in the name okay so i'll have to replace the name with actually the name of the candidate so i'll copy this particular thing i'll go back to my studio and if I actually see here i can see there's a replace text in document okay so i'm going to drag in this particular activity here what do i want to search for i want to search for the word name so i'll open my text and i'm going to paste it that this is what i want to search once i get this in place of name i actually want to have the name of the candidate which as of now is flying robot but i'm going to edit it save it my name so this is what i want to fetch i want the name to be anmol and i'm going to change the phone number also or i'll leave it as it is i'll go back to my studio x from the name i want to replace it with a value in excel so i'm going to select my excel i'll indicate in excel and i'll say this is what i want to replace it with and i'm going to confirm okay so if there are multiple occurrences for this word name so it's going to replace all the occurrences but as of now in our word file we only have one occurrence so it's going to only replace that particular occurrence the next thing what we have to do is we'll have to replace the experience one with actually the experience of the candidate so again i'm going to use the same activity which is replace text in document what is that i want to search for so i want to search for experience one and i'm going to replace it with i'll indicate it in excel i will replace it with experience one and i'll click on confirm okay similarly i'm going to do it for experience one details i would not be replacing all because the step would be pretty much the same so i would only be replacing experience one and experience one details so i'm going to replace experience one details with actually the experience one details that is present in excel so i like highlight this once i highlight this i'm going to click on confirm okay so as of now what we've done we've replaced the name we have replaced experience 1 and we have replaced experience 1 details similarly we can replace experience 2 experience 3 education 1 and education 2 now we would want to replace the this thing with a particular picture or with the profile picture of the candidate so if we go back to the word we also see an activity that says adds a picture at the end of a specified word document but that is not what we want to do we want to instead replace a picture okay so if i want to add a picture at the end of the document i'm going to use this particular activity but if i want to replace a picture so it says replace pictures in a word template based on alt text okay which means i need to know the alt text of that particular picture so as of now this is also a picture if i want to replace this picture with another picture i need to have hits alt text how will you know it's alt text either you right click on it and you get an option here named alt text see alt text something like this if you don't get it then you click on format picture and go to this particular option layout and properties once you go on layout and properties you see two options text box and alt text click on alt text you will get to know the alt text of this particular picture which is photo underscore placeholder so i'm going to copy it i'll go back to my studio so find pictures in alt text what is actually my alt text here my alt text is photo underscore placeholder now i want to replace it with a picture so my picture is lying here flying robot with a png file so i'm going to open it So now this is going to replace all these things and would also replace the picture if i want to also replace the profile details of the candidate i can do that too 
So I'm going to copy the profile details, go back to my studio because I have to replace a text in a document. So I'll be replacing the text in a document. I'll copy the text as profile details and I'll indicate it in Excel where actually the profile detail is. So I'll copy the profile description and click on confirm. Okay. So once I've done all this, the other thing what I can do is I can save the document as a different file, like renaming the file, say with the candidate name or something. Okay, so let us do that as well. So I'm going to save this file as you can say resume underscore. Now I want to have the candidate's name. So I'll go to indicate in Excel. I'll select the name and I'll click on save. So it will save it as resume underscore the candidate name dot docx that is a word file extension okay i can also save the document as a pdf so that it cannot be edited so where do i want to save it i will save it here um where is that particular where did that particular thing go like the current project folder let me search from here. Let me copy this particular path. This is where I would be saving the PDF file of the word resume that I've created. So I'm going to navigate. And this is where I would be saving it. So I'll click on save. Okay, I'll also have to name the file name. Okay, so it would be resume. That's it and click on save. So this would be my file. Now that I've done all this, I'll close the Word document as well as the Excel document and I'll give it a run. Okay, so I'm going to click on run. So it's going to open this particular resume template, replace it, replace all the details that we've given. So it's, it's replacing. It has replaced the picture. It has replaced the profile description. Now, if we go back to that particular location, we can see resume underscore and mole here. So you can see profile picture has been updated. Details has been updated. Name has been updated. Experience one and experience detail has been updated. And let us also locate where we have saved the PDF of this particular Word file. So it is here. So here comes the PDF of the file that we have saved. So this is one of the exercise that you can do using Word automation. The another exercise that I was talking about is this particular exercise. Let me open it. Okay. So this also actually utilizes the Excel as well as the Word document. So the only difference over here is you see that there is a contract for sale of goods. Okay. So we have certain details here like company name, company address, seller name, seller address. And then we have goods information present here in the table format. Now what we can also achieve using word automation is we can replace the entire table directly into the word document. Okay. So how would we do that? Let me also show you the template. So this is the template. So if you look at the template, so company name, company address, all this can simply be replaced using replace text in the document. Okay, now that we can also replace this particular table where it is written insert table here, we can actually pick up the entire table from the Excel and paste it here. Okay. So if we look at this word automation created here, so this save for later activity can be used if there is a particular value that you would be using multiple times in a particular solution. So it can be saved with a particular name so that you don't have to remember the entire value. So that is what has been done here. So completed attachment.docx, which is a doc file has been saved here. So now we are using this Excel file like we used in the previous particular process that we just saw. 
then we are using excel for each row so this is generally used when you have multiple rows here and you want to run that automation for each row now in a resume example if we have 10 candidates and we want to create resumes for each 10 candidates then inside use excel file we would be using for each excel row which means it is going to iterate row by row and inside that row we have used a word file we are saving the document as completed template file okay and now we are using replace text simply we have replaced text we have replaced picture now we also want to replace the table right so if we go on to the word document we have a lot of option here and out of all these option we also have insert data table in document okay so if i just drag it here which table do i want to insert okay insert relative to where to a document to a bookmark to a text okay and where we want to insert it okay so what is the table to insert we're gonna show it in this particular good sheet we have the table here so if you look at the excel you have two sheets here and inside the good sheets you actually have the table okay so this is the table that we have inside the good sheet so this is what we are going to show it here so we will say that in the current row <clears throat> in the people okay we have good sheet and inside the good sheet we have table one so this is what we want to insert where do we want to insert we want to insert here in insert table here so we'll go to studio x we want to insert relative to a text so what text do we want to search we already know what is the text the text is this insert table here where to insert so we want to replace it not before nor after but we want to replace that particular text with the table so this will replace it so now let's run this thing and see how it's going to replace the entire insert table here text with the table that we've picked up from the excel so it's replacing the company name and details and then it's going to replace insert table here with the details so if we look at the template now being created so you can see here is the entire table being replaced we can simply replace total and euro exchange rate with replace text then these are the pictures and as i told you you can get the alt text for this picture so it's logo underscore seller you can replace these two pictures and you can replace the date so now we saw that how to replace picture in web automation how to replace text in web automation how to save it as a pdf file so if we click on web automation word automation sorry so we saw that how do we add in picture we saw how we can append a text and uh, we saw that how do we export it to pdf like we did in the previous create resume thing we inserted a data table we can read text we can replace text we can also insert text so these all are the action that you can perform using word automation so that's all for this particular video and in the upcoming video we're going to cover yet another topic for studio x and we would be exploring more topics and as soon as we approach towards completion of this particular series you would definitely become a citizen developer so till then stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you